Well, howdy, Internet. This is Steve of Thousand Year Home. So, uh, this weekend I'm doing agrarian stuff, and me and this here tractor got into a little argument. And the argument was, in the uh, song, John Henry, he took on a steam-powered locomotive and beat it while drilling uh, stones. Uh, of course, he laid down his hammer and he died when he was done, but the tractor was a little offended on that old story and never heard it. And the tractor said to me, uh, it thinks that it could beat me in any dirt digging competition. So I'm going to tell you, tractor versus man, it was on. And I flipped a coin, and as luck would have it, the tractor didn't call in time. And it got the job of digging. And I got the job of unloading. So, the rest of this video is me versus a tractor to see who can dig the fastest. And I gotta tell you, uh, the tractor won. Now, I guess that things have changed a lot since John Henry's day. So, uh, and perhaps I'm, uh, Getting a little crazy out here, being all alone. Nobody loving me. Just me and the tractor and old Hank. Sometimes a wolf, sometimes company visiting. And all of you all who subscribe and like, without you all, I might just be losing my mind. Here's the, here's the rundown. For the tractor to dig five buckets of mud, uh, dirt out with its front end loader, 18 minutes. That included backing up time and perhaps some narration time and driving time. 18 minutes for me to dig five buckets. Mud out. So, uh, but it took an hour even for me to unload it. it and arguably, the tractor said digging out of the gr ground with the roots and all that is a harder job. I don't know. I didn't do the digging. It did the digging. So if you want to know how much faster a tractor can dig than a human being, it appears to be five times faster. Now, saying that, I would like to add that uh, me sitting on top of a tractor digging dirt cost me nothing in physical labor. <laughs> me unloading a, a tractor, the dirt out the back of the tractor to fill up this garden. I'm sorry. I was tired when I got done. Tired. My arms hurt. My legs hurt. My back hurt. So the tractor reports that it didn't feel a darn thing. So there might be something to said for this modern uh, era. So those of you who are uh, living home studying off the grid, Amish style, even more Amish, more primitively than that, just a wooden shovel and in the dirt and you scrape out the wooden shovel using your teeth. Well, there's a mechanical advantage that you're going to lose there. But the tractor appeared to be, at a glance, five times faster than me and no physical, uh, no physical detriment to its body. So uh, the rest of this video is uh, me versus a tractor. And you can judge for yourself about my form and uh, if the tractor was being a little uppity. I don't know, perhaps. Uh, but uh, I'm grateful that the tractor does hang with me. Don't have a name for her yet, or him. I don't know. Uh, uh, something fancy seems to Fenimore, perhaps. Fenimore, the Mahandra tractor, got kind of, has her little role. Uh, perhaps I need more social time. Because uh, all I got is a camera and you and this here crack tractor. So anyway, watch these stop motions. Keep your eye on me. Make sure I don't cheat. Uh, you'll notice a couple of breaks in there. The tractor during those breaks and all that time was not even on. So I don't know who took more breaks, me or the tractor. I don't know. In fact, the tractor sits most time, most days. Perhaps I should factor that in. Let's see how the tractor likes that comparative, huh? How much more time the tractor rests and lays around than versus me. All right, five times. Enjoy the videos. Oh, like, subscribe. You're all that I got. So like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye, y'all.
to tell you that that experiment for you people was really hard. <laughs> and I did it just for you. Actually, I did it because I was curious. A tractor, five loads of dirt, all told, even shooting a video took me about 18 minutes. So shovel it out took me an hour, one hour exactly, the same five loads. Now, well, I know that five loads almost fills up a 20, 35 foot half moon. Well, there you go. 35 by, I'm going to say, 10 foot across, half moon. So now I got the sun to do, and I know that that's a bigger surface area. So I'm going to risk it and put eight loads in there and drive through that uh, hollows again that I built the roads up. Might run my tractor over it a little bit more. I'm going to try to get those loads done tonight and get it moved tonight. Uh, and I'm going to bring my tractor back to unload it because I am not doing this experiment. I feel it in my arms. I feel it in my legs. I feel it in my back. Uh, so there's more to be said than just how long a tractor can do something and how fast a human being can do, right? Because my tractor, I, I didn't wear it out at all during that little microcosm of its total 30 plus year lifespan that little bit of dirt wasn't uh, it didn't even move the grease but this old body i am going to be limping tomorrow and uh but one hour versus 18 minutes and that was it digging it out of the ground you know that's harder than just throwing it on right now advantage of me using a shovel you could see in the stop motion i was able to throw it right where i wanted kind of spread it out well, I'll let it sit. I'll get some manure from around the farm here and I'll till, rototill it all in, uh, letting the cardboard break down. So this year I'm going to plant peas and beans and tomatoes and just kind of break up the ground a little bit. Maybe get something that will put roots down into the clay, right? And get, get things moving. Uh, and then I'll rototill it next year and raise it up. I'm going to uh, improve the little, I love the boundary that's uh, just old wood, right? It, but it'll hold the moisture, kind of protect it, give it, give the seedlings a little, a little isolation. That's it for me. I, I am not taking you out there to uh, watch me dig that rest of that dirt out. But I, I am going to do my best to get eight loads on this trailer, get it back tonight. Uh, I got a couple hours of daylight left. I'm pretty sure I can get that done. Then I'm going to make a steak and mushrooms for dinner. So this really is, if I've said bye, like, subscribe somewhere else in this video, I didn't mean it. Well, I mean like and subscribe now. <laughs> because this is the end of this experiment. How uh, comparing digging dirt with a tractor versus digging, shoveling dirt out with my man. Uh, five to one, four to one uh, better odds. and. You know, digging it out of the ground, I couldn't have done that anyway. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, catch you all on the next video. Bye. Well, what kind of host would I be of a YouTube channel if I left you all hanging there with that? Uh, I was going to do this work tomorrow, but now that I'm not digging with a shovel, I've got a little energy left in me. And I've got all the dirt right here that I need, uh, I think, to fill up that sun reasonable thing I'll till it all up next year over there you can see at the end of the end of the cart I just pushed a bunch of dirt up like a ramp so I'll be driving up in here picking it up and uh, driving it over there <laughs>